So just before the video does start, just a quick little ad on a uh, trading service I offer over on Twitch. I do daily trading guides including loads of price sheets for special card trading, silver trading and so on and so on. And you get them daily over there for £5 a month or free with Amazon Prime. Yeah, so guys, and um, welcome to a brand new video and day three of the zero to two million in seven methods. So, so far on the road to glory, it is looking very, very good. Let's go and give you guys a little update of how it's looking. Uh, all the Gwedders who I went and bought for uh, 1.8 yesterday were selling for 2.6. Kings were selling just above we bought them for, and the Ismailis we got for 1.3. So it's not looking too bad. We're selling on a bunch of the players. Our transport is about 750k, which would indicate us probably being on about 600k right now, which is. Uh, well, I'd say even six to 700k, because we've still got loads and loads of players to sell on. So it's looking really, really good. So today's trading method, which you are going to see, is a little special trading method. And uh, I got this method from a, a streamer called V2, uh, I think it's 273. He's uh, a very, very good trader. He's got like 20, 30 mil right now. So uh, yeah, very, very well proven method. And with this method, what you're going to go and do is you're going to go and put a minimum bid of 10, 250. You're then going to go and put a maximum bid of 13k. And then maximum by now doesn't really matter. You're then going to go and use either Shadow or Hunter. So let's go say we throw Hunter right now. Once you've put this in, the, due to the parameters, it's only going to take about three or four pages and you're going to get to the 59th minute. The 59th minute is relevant because this is when cards have just been listed and obviously if the cards have just been listed, there is a higher chance of them being a deal. Once you're on the 59th minute, you either have previous knowledge of what cards go for or you're learning prices. So let's say I'm going to find Gamera. I'm going to go and add this Gamera to my transfer targets so I can try and find how much this Gamera is worth. So we've got Gamero, we're going to take off Shadow uh, Hunter because we want to see how much is the Gamero worth without a Hunter. Just to see if, uh, you know, it with a Hunter is a deal. So we're going to go and have to put minimum by now right now of about 10k. So a Gamero without a Hunter is going for about 70k. Therefore our Gamero with a Hunter could be quite good. So now we're going to go and search how much it is with a Hunter. So the whole point you do without a Hunter is just seeing... How much more is he going for with a hunter? But sadly, you can see he's flooded for about 23, 25k. Therefore, our deal there with 70 is not going to be a deal because I'm only going to sell him for 3k more, which actually means there's a loss with um, with tank. So again, you can go and do that with shadow as well. Um, but yeah, so it's all at the beginning. It's all a learning curve. But once you know your prices, you'll be okay. Gamero hunter, 60k, boom, and I'm going to go instantly buy that and sell it for 70. But the whole learning process is all about find a play on the fifth and ninth minute, add it to your transfer targets and uh, you know, see how much it can go for. So uh, again, what you want to do is you want to just keep doing this over and over again. It's either your learning prices or you know what they go for uh, and then you can uh, you know, buy and sell them instantly. So let's say we found an Aurea right here. So let's go and find how much an Aurea sells for without a shadow. Actually, we know an Aurea without a shadow will sell for at least like 13k, but uh, we'll have a little look. So an Aurea right now, we're going to put a minimum buy now of 10k to the annoying uh, UCLs. Without a shadow is going for about 12k. So we're only paying 1k more for a shadow, so already that's not looking too bad. But then we're going to go and search how much he is with a shadow, and he's flooded for 15k, and therefore not going to be a good deal. But obviously what will happen is eventually you'll do this enough times that you'll find a card that's a really good deal. And then you'll go and buy that, and then you're going to go and uh, just undercut, um, you know, just undercut. So let's say, for example, we found a Laporte, right? So I found a Team of Year nominee Laporte with a shadow, and we found it for a really good deal. You then go and find what is the cheapest Team of Year Laporte, um, or Team of Year nominee Laporte with a shadow. If we can go and find that right now. And then you'd go and undercut it by a few K. So there we go. The cheapest on the market is 75K. Let's say we got one for 60. We'd probably go and sell that for about probably 72 or 73K, given that we want it to sell fast. Uh, or unless you have previous knowledge on what they sell for, let's say maybe you've already bought and sold loads of reports in the last like few hours for 75K. Well, then you'd go and sell it for 75K, given that you know it sells for that. So that's going to be the premises of today's trading method. We're going to show you guys when we get some good deals. So we've quite blindly taken the plunger of two players, but uh, before I show you that, we'll show you the uh, Gwedders is we all bought for uh, 2.6 and loads, sorry, bought for 1.8 and selling loads for 2.6. So we've gone and got ourselves two deals. I'm not quite sure if I sent them to my club. No, I haven't. All right, so we send them over. So the cards we won was a Zapata for 14k and a Plie for 14k. I saw both. I was like, well, they're both 84 in form. So they're both about 14k. That's literally the going rate of an 84 in form. That should be pretty safe. So we first show you the, uh, the players we got. So... Got him with a Hunter for uh, 14750 You can see that's a very safe buy. And once again, we got Zapata with a Hunter for 14 k Again, likewise... One sec. Likewise, I might be the cheapest Zapata on the market, is it? No, 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 it isn't. But likewise, you can see 14 k of a Hunter is a safe buy. Now, of course, I relatively blindly bought these. I didn't do any research because I thought... I knew that 84s for 14 k are quite safe. So I thought, well, buying it wouldn't be that risky. So Zapata, we got for 14 Probably going to squeeze 17 out of him, which is only going to be a 2k profit. Nothing too interesting. But again, 
it's a blind buy, and it's all at the beginning. It's all about learning uh, the prices, and likewise with Plio, we got for fifteen seven fifty um, or fourteen seven fifty. Sorry, we're probably going to go for seventeen point five. So again, not crazy buys, but you got to start somewhere. And again, at the beginning, it's all about learning prices. So if you don't make the biggest profits in the world, the good thing is you um, you should at least be learning prices. So there we go. We got the Plio fourteen seven fifty again. It's only going to be about one one k and a bit after tax. And there's a patter again. There's going to be just over 2k before tax, so not bad, but uh, obviously nothing too crazy. So a few blind buys later, uh, and we've gone and got a few deals. So I'm going to walk you through the deals why I've bought them uh, and uh, and so on. So we're going to got Promise for 13, a uh, Wesley for 13, 250, and a Lukaku for 30. So I've gone for Lukaku for 30 because I know that all 87 informs. Hopefully I can demonstrate right now. Uh, at least the other day we're going for 30k. So knowing that Lukaku's normal car goes to 30k, I thought. Go over relatively new inform would be good for 30k because the good things about relatively new informs is they're quite uh, is they're quite rare. You know, like the rare to have a chem style film and because they've only just been in packs for a little while. So if I'm not wrong, 87 informs right now are going for 30k unless they've uh, taken a uh, heavy hit. So they are going for 30k because I believe this Illic is literally just one card listed for 25. If I'm not wrong, yeah, you can see they're going for about 29.30. So I thought a Lukaku for 30k with a Hunter can't be too bad. So let's go and check out a few of those cards and uh, have a little gander on how they are doing. So we'll start off with, uh, we'll start off with Lukaku, go on. So as he's got, he's probably gonna have a lot of his first and form listed up for that price. Uh, so let's hope that we don't get completely mugged off. Yeah, so you're gonna have a lot of his first and form flooded with uh, with the Hunter, and that what normally happens. When a second and form comes, his first and, first and form's normally to get flooded. Sadly, we've seen one there for 33. Are we seen one other than that 33 one? Because what you can do is you can just go second cheapest. Yeah, because there's only one there for 33. So let's go for the minimum right now at 33k. Uh, and let's go and work out what the, uh, what the next cheapest is. So 33 to 36. So we've got one there for 33. And uh, that's about it so far. So I think just so I don't, uh, you know, don't mug myself off of uh, not making too many coins, we'll probably go this up for 36 and uh, go off the presumption that when one sells on, we can go and sell the other. So there's that. And then we've got the Wesley, who we went and bought for 13k. And as like, you've got to understand, because we're, you know, relatively new to this, is a little bit trial and error. Yeah, I got for 13. Probably go flip it for like 14. Uh, literally just break even on it. The promise who we got for uh, 13 as well. Got a minimum by now of uh, 10. It's looking a little bit more promising. What are you going for? 13. And again, we'll probably go second cheapest as well on the market. So we'll probably go maybe 17k. You can sell them on relatively lazy buyers. So nothing uh, nothing too mad. Uh, just a normal lamella selling on right here. One thing I'm also doing is if I'm not buying a card, I'm actually adding it to my transfer target so I can start learning what they do sell for. So now if I see a Martinez in the market, I can go, okay, well, Martinez sells for 29. Therefore, if there's one for like 23, 24, I can probably comfortably even probably sell it for about 30 odd. So uh, yeah, there you go. So we got uh, two cards doing, well, one card doing meh, one card doing okay, and uh, the other card doing a bit naff. But I'd say early days and we're still learning the prices. So we've got our first sale, which is really exciting. So uh, Romelu Lukaku, no more than like 20, 30 minutes after buying for 30, sold for 36. So tax is going to be about 1.5k, uh, maybe 1.78k. Uh, which isn't too bad, so that's mean we're going to take home about 4k profit on that. But yeah, really, uh, really happy to get our first sell on, and uh, you know it's going really well. We're gaining, we're gaining a lot of data right now because, as I say, even if we don't buy the players, uh, we do sell them one. And one doing right now is just building a data sheet. I guess I'll go and expose it, but this is one doing right now. So I have the players' uh, qualities all here, so it's just easy to see. I have who the players is, what rating they are, and then what they sell for with a hunter. Either team the group stages, what they sell with a hunter. Although I do take pay off because it makes it easier. And then, uh, then they'll say, if I see any of the players up, I can be like, okay, Martinez, 29k, sells for that, beautiful. But uh, that's what I'm doing with the players I don't buy, but uh, I add to the tramps list, like you can see right here. So we've gone and got ourselves four deals, so let's go and walk you through uh, those deals right now. Now, some of them were a little bit uh, a little bit iffy, so we'll see how it goes. So um, again, we got for uh, 15, I've already done a quick search, and uh, I'll be able to sell him for 19k, not too bad. Pulisic, who we got for a 15k, would be able to sell for 19k, as we saw one earlier sell for 19k. Uh, these were two ones I kind of just uh, bought, so we got a sell for Paradez for 15.5 of a shadow. Believe, I knew, the thing is, I knew on Xbox he was 20k of a shadow, so that's well, that's one of the reasons why I bought him. In uh, in Xbox we trust, come on, don't mug me off, game. Don't mug me off. 16k, yeah, a little bit naff with that one. And then the other one we got was a Grimaldo for 20 um We'll probably listen for 18k. Uh, Grimaldo, who we got with a shadow for 26k. Gain a bit of a punt. Ooh, a punt that's... Okay, so we'll ignore that one. Next cheapest on the market, 32. Okay. So if we ignore that one right there. 
Go 34. So, uh, yeah, not too bad. There'll be a... Uh, I mean, maybe I'll uh, compromise and go, like, 31k. So, 5k more, 1.5k tax, 3k profit. Um, what should we go for? We'll go 31k. Uh, so, the second cheapest on the market, and that should be pretty good. Again, I'll be a little bit after tax. And Paradise will list up for, like, 17. We won't be too ambitious with that. Bear in mind, it's not much more. But, uh, yeah, so far, we're not having a crazy amount of cards uh, sell on. And that's, that's what happens when you're ambitious. Sell for the second and third cheapest on the market. But uh, yeah, we're still uh, collecting loads of data and getting loads of deals. We might actually go and change it up with an SBC right now. So we've just gone and picked up one last deal. Just before I go and do a few SBCs, just go and change uh, change content up a little bit. Uh, and it was a little bit of a pun. And uh, I went and bought this guy right here. Because I don't think the demand for this guy is overly crazy. But he is the only one with a shadow on the market. So I think what I'll do is I'll probably list him up for like 5k more. Because if someone wants me with a shadow, they're going to be buying my card right there. But there you go. That's just the, the last little card. And now what we do is probably going to do the Team Year SBC and then followed by the Mikey Macho SBCs. Just we'll give it a little bit of time for some players to sell on. So we've gone and done the Team Year Challenge SBC. Uh, and it's going to cost us 4.1k for a Prime Election Pack. No wonder Silver's crashed uh, quite heavy. Although they have rebounded very, very well. Um, what we'll do right now is we'll also uh, see... Has anything interesting sold on? Two things have sold on. That being, uh, again, just a bunch of the players bought yesterday. Quite a lot of them selling off for lazy buyers right now. Uh, which have yeah, been working really, really well. So uh, let's go and see how this pack is going to go and treat us. And then after this pack, we will be cracking underway with a bit of a uh, marquee matchup. So here you go. Here's the new uh, Team of the Year design. We are going to get a blue, but it's only going to be a normal UCL. No Team of the Year. It is 83 Daily Blind. Uh, I mean, okay, whatever. Um, each of their own. Uh, then in that pack as well, we get Herbiners. Nothing too crazy in that. A few guys who are going to sell for League SBCs. But should he not be a ball? I don't, I don't understand the concept of that, but uh, hey-ho. Uh, not bad. What we'll do right now is uh, we'll go and do the Mikey matchups and sell these players on. So now doing the uh, penultimate Mikey matchup. At least he cost us 1.6k. We had uh, obviously the bronzes and uh, one or two of the silvers and paid 400 coins for the gold. So that for a premium silver players pack is uh, you know, absolutely uh, absolute robbery because of uh, how cheap we're getting it. But let's go and uh, open up the pack. And see if we get anything good. Now, uh, the silvers have rebounded quite nicely from the other days. So, I, d I do really like this uh, pack animation. Uh, I'd be lying if I said otherwise. But there you go. We are going to get a silver CDM. And they're going to be from the Australian League. So, not too good. It's not Inler, is it? Inler isn't like... No, it isn't. Schweger. Uh, nothing on him. Nothing on him. Nothing on him. Money on him. Money on him. No way. What? CSL? Oh, no. Sorry. That's just a very CSL looking badge. A uh, little bit of money on here. Nothing too crazy on them, but uh, there you go. There's uh, there's a penultimate pack. Time to do the last one, and then we got a few, well, two packs from the marquee matchups. So we're going to go and uh, finish off these uh, marquee matchups. We've gone and done this one right here, which is going to cost us 5.5k, which is not bad for a rare mix pack. Uh, and then we're going to obviously get the uh, rare election. So we're going to get a lot of players and a team of the year in them, if I'm not wrong. But no, none of the specials are sold on, so I'm a little bit worried about that, but... It is what it is. We've still got 300k to work with. That's enough for 6pm rush investing. So I've actually opened up the better pack first. So let's see what we're going to get then. No, I don't think it's anything, sadly. Yeah, it's nothing interesting. Straight to the rare player. It's striker. It's going to be... Player might be coming back out uh, back out from the Chinese league. Maybe back to... What, Villarreal was it? Was Pekambu? Because, of course, their uh, price range... Uh, their price range? <laughs> their wage cap. But uh, I do scroll along right here, and I see my guy, Dermaku, who sells for about 4.2k. So... Even though we didn't get anyone amazing right there, arguably that that is the equivalent to um, get like an 84 because of uh, how much Demaku is. But yeah, not bad. Uh, it's going to get rid of that and crack underway with the next pack. Four golds, four silvers, four bronzes, one team of the year. He said. Okay, so it is something. Uh, I don't know what it is. It's English, so it can't be something too amazing. Send it. Oh, is it going to be Inform required? No, it's uh, Stones. I mean, Stones is something, you know, Stones is probably about 3 4 He's normally a uh, lower rated that holds a bit of value, because he's uh, not only a good car, but he's also used for National Pride. Uh, nothing too crazy right there. We get, obviously, he's used for the Eredivisie SBC, he's used for the Eredivisie SBC, uh, he's used for the Saudi, he's used for the uh, MLS SBC, so not bad. Uh, we'll get around to selling them. We only have two spaces in the champs list, but uh, yeah, you know, middle of the middle of the road packs right there. Nothing too amazing, but uh, you know, not the worst in the world. So after quite some time, we finally had our uh, second card selling on. That's a Pusic which we bought for 15, so for 19. So we're just gonna make ourselves just under uh, or just over 3k profit on that card, which isn't too bad. And then we got the Stones and the Wilsons who we bought on yesterday. But uh, yeah, not looking uh, too shabby. We are gonna get back to a bit of special card trading right now, and uh, you know. Feel this uh, chance this back. So I believe we've got a few more buys and a few more sales. So let's walk you through them. So the uh, sales Grimada we got for 26k, flipped for 31k. So that means we made 
or 3.5k off the tax. Wesley bought for like 13, so 14, 15, nothing too crazy. Uh, and then the Bellarabies we were buying for 1.4 last night, and selling for 2.4, and then a few silvers selling on. So not looking uh, too bad. Still got an absolutely crammed transfer. And yeah, we haven't actually got any more deals, but yeah, we're still doing special card trading, trying to get a few more deals. So we're just going to go ourselves a, uh, a little deal right now. Now, John McGuinn, I think he's going rates for about 20, 20k right now. So we're going to pick him up for 17. Going to flip him right there for 22k. Uh, nothing uh, nothing too crazy on it, but I'll take it 3.5. And I don't think this is too hard because it's in his favorite, favorable position with a favorable chem. So I think there are a few for 2021, 20, but they're all in like strikes and stuff. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm quite uh, quite confident about that card right there. But yeah, just, uh, just a little card I got. And uh, what's that? There we go, Gamera. So I say because I now know the Gamera self sixty-five. Ever seen in the future, I can uh, go and have the uh, you know go and buy into self sixty-five. So I've got ourselves uh, three more deals. So let's go and uh, walk you through these cards right here. So we've got a uh, Bruno Fernandez for eighteen fifty. I think that'll do well. Collar for fourteen. I don't think that's too amazing. And a Pellegrini for twelve. Again, nothing too crazy. So. Uh, let's go and see what each one of them are worth. So start off with the Bruno Fernandes. Uh, just missed a really good deal on a uh, Benzema. Probably about 10k on him, but hey ho, live and learn. So Bruno Fernandes, eh, there's no money on that sadly. Uh, the Kolarov, let's see how the Kolarov does. Uh, Shadow, I think game we're going for 14k. I, again, I don't. it's a bit annoying because I think, um, yeah, no money on that one sadly. And uh, finally the Pellegrini. P.E. Double L. Uh, Pellegrini. Uh, Hunter. I think there's one on the market for 14 right now. One market for 15. Okay, so we can be a little bit ambitious. Probably list up for about 16, 17. Yeah, we'll probably go list them up for 16. But yeah, nothing, uh, obviously nothing too amazing. But that's, uh, that is the risk you take when you just rash buy stuff, you know. Because obviously you could rash buy a good deal. But there you go. And uh, now time to go and show you some more specials we get. Nothing too crazy. It's not like we're losing money on any of them. So we're working on some of the previous data we, uh, we gathered earlier. And there you go. Plie. Oh, we left him with an open bid. Okay, that's, that's not good. We lost coins on that, but uh, I didn't know I left him with an open bid. But So uh, we saw a Jonas Sancho sell earlier for 46k. Uh, so I'm just going to go and pick him up with a Hunter for... Uh, how much are we going to pick him up for? We went and picked him up for 39k. Uh, and again, the reason I did go and pick him up was off of the uh, previous knowledge. So let's just double check uh, that he is good. There you go, 47, so yeah, 46k isn't going to be too hard, there's a few there, 46, one there for 41, but uh, 46 would probably be the second cheapest on the market, and bear in mind, I imagine this is a relatively demanded card, that paired up with a relatively demanded uh, chem cell, 46, will not be uh, too hard to shift for, now of course, we're probably after tax, only going to make ourselves about 4k, but uh, I take it nonetheless, and that's where, again, previous knowledge um, is really good, and why, you know, me doing this for one day isn't going to be overly amazing, because obviously I don't have too much data, but obviously if I did this for a few days, I'd get better data and I could just instantly buy that Sancho, then rather check the Sancho and by the time I've checked him, he's already gone. So we got ourselves another deal right here. We got ourselves a Tyson with a Hunter for 19k. Again, I've gone and rashly bought it, so I could be a bit of a mug. Let's say if I, I haven't been a bit of a mug. So Tyson with a Hunter. Uh, gone and going for 19k. Survey says... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How are we... Okay. So striker, she was a striker one, 22k. What do you get for? 19k. Uh, I guess we just have 22k and take a 2k profit, but yeah, nothing amazing. I'd say it's, you know, yeah, yeah. It's, it sucks, but um, it's not the end of it. I'd say luckily it's a little bit of money and it's uh, not lower, but hey ho. Next deal, hopefully it'll be a bit better. Don't worry, I've double checked this deal is actually decent because I, I was getting a bit fed up. So just got yourself a Van der Beek right now for uh, 15, 16k. I uh, should be able to flip, flip it for 21k. But yeah, finally, it's bit, we've had a mare. We've had a mare, and we'll see we're picking up bad deals after bad deals. But there we go. Finally, a player going to make ourselves just under 4k profit on that card. Something else is, well, six things have sold on? Three things have sold on. Anything interesting? There you go. John McGinn, who we got earlier for, what was that? 18k, I think it is. Uh, flip for 22k. And a few other silvers. But there we go. Finally making a little bit of profit on some special cards. That's what we'd like to see. So we've just got an absolutely banging deal. Finally! On a Kareem Benzema. Got him for 32k with a Hunter. It was a very rash buy. Didn't double check him whatsoever. You know, basically, this is rash buying gone good, if I'm not wrong. Gone for 32k with a Hunter. Yes. Yes. Look at that profit. There you go. We're going to go flip him for about 40k, I think. Maybe even 41, looking at it. Because, uh, I mean, these cards are relatively fresh on the market. You know, I'll go a little bit more. Probably 42. Which is a 10k profit. So, God praise the Lord. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go take a 31k, but... Ah, oh, trust me, you know, it's coming in, two back-to-back -back deals, you know. I know they've been a bit plebby, um, but back-to-back -back deals, there you go. Take a, just over, take 41k. 
That's, uh, uh, no, we'll, 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 we'll play it safe. We'll listen for 4k. But there you go. That's going to give us a 6k profit, but it's been, it's been a, we've had a mare, so uh, yeah, it's, it's quite nice to actually get a good deal. So I've just been raving on about like how much this method changes when you know the prices. So I've just put, gone and picked up a Deli Alley. Now, previously, I've seen a Deli Alley sell for 50k because I was just observing on the market. So knowing these players' prices is literally makes this method so good. So if I could do this method two days in a row, it'd be amazing. So we've got 557, I'm going to go and sell for 50 which means we're going to go and take our uh, our sell for 4.5k profit once he sells on. Now, let me go have a little look at Deli Ali's Wither Shadow, because he might actually be worth more in ours. Uh, I was kind of looking at a uh, relatively cheapo. So, uh, Deli Ali, uh, go and get rid of all of that right there. 50k. And if by magic, he's not flooded. There you go, there's none. So we could actually sell for more than 50k. 55? Okay, I think 50k is a very... Uh, you know, without getting too greedy. So there we go. Gonna go, 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 go and take, can't speak, a 4.5k profit. But three... Three deals in a row, let's go. So we've gone and sold two cards on right now. We've first got Benzema, uh, who once again we bought for 32, sold for 40, so that's 6k profit. Next we have Van Beek, who we got for 15k, sold for 21k, so that's a, uh, another 4k profit. So between those two players, 10k profit, happy days. But uh, yeah, still just doing uh, a bunch of special card trading. So we've got two more deals, so let's go and uh, walk you through them. Uh, deal numero uno is, um, is a hen doggy dog. Going for 13k of a hunter. Um, I know Shadow, he's worth about 20, but I'm uh, not quite sure he's worth a hunter now. Arguably, Hendog is in, uh, the most demanded player in the world with a hunter, but he should do pretty well nonetheless. Like, I'll show you where he is with a Shadow right now. Uh, minimum 10. Boom. With a Shadow, he is 20k. So that's what I thought. 13 with a hunter. It's not as demanded, but he could still do pretty well. Uh, there you go. I mean, we'll probably go this up for 7. Well, probably about 18k and take a uh, 5k on that. And the other player I went and bought was a ZH with a hunter for 20. Uh, the reason I went and bought ZH with a hunter for 20 is because I was looking at Inform ZH's and I was like, well, Inform ZH is about 20k, therefore him with a hunter is extremely safe. So I got him with, yeah, basically his Inform card with a hunter for uh, literally the cheapest ZH on the market. So let me go and find what ZH is actually going for right now. ZH 22k? Yeah, so I got Inform ZH with a hunter for, for 19.5k. Generally... I think it's the cheapest ZH by about 3k. It, it, there's no ZH on the market up until 22k. This card is a very rare inform uh, card because it was used for a lot of the SBCs, which took out our packs quite a lot. Any ZH for 24k? Oh, this is crazy. This is crazy. Like, he's, he's such a rare card. And once again, he's a rare card because he was using loads of SBCs, which completely wiped his supply off the market. Okay, so we're seeing ZHs for 25k. God praise the Lord. Okay, what about uh, with ZHs of a Hunter? Okay, so we're going to sell him for about 25k, not a, uh, or 24k, so 5k more than we bought for, not bad. Anything interesting? Nah, I just want the silvers we found. Some very, very rapid sales right here. Uh, Sancho bought for 39, flipped for 46, uh, and a hen dog bought for 13, sell for 18, so it's really, really coming into play with special card trading, and uh, yeah, I'm absolutely loving it. But up, up. So another banger of a deal, uh, I believe this Benzema goes for at least 55k, so uh, I could be the ba biggest deal we've had so far. We also got a Chilwell. Uh, so let's go and walk you through them right there. Yeah, uh, Benzema, I believe, with a hunter is really good. Let's go and find him. Let's go for a minimum of 40, and I believe he's 55k. His inform card, that is. Yeah, so just off the back of a uh, nominee, uh, Benzema. There you go. Got a good little deal right there. 53k is the cheapest on the market, so I think very comfortably we might even be get a little bit more. Uh, 58. Don't want to push it too much, though. Now, go 55k on him, so that's an 11k profit right there. And we also picked up a Chilwell for, I think it was... 12k with a shadow uh which should be good yeah there you go so picked him up for 12k gonna flip him for 17 yeah some really really nice deals there happy happy days uh anything interesting to sell on no and as we said he's done uh, pretty well uh boy for 44 flipped him for 55 so yeah really nice that special card trading is really uh really starting to come on now but yeah just keep on going away at it and i'll show you guys when we get more deals so, 3D was later. Let's go and give you an update how they are. So, we've got a Guerrero for 25, a Sansone for 12, and a uh, Lanier for 14. So, let's go through them and see if any of them were uh, were too good. So, I guess we'll start with the Guerrero. G U E. Here we go. Survey says. Pages, which means it's not good. Uh, 27. Yeah, gonna break even on that card. Not amazing. Sansone and that lot literally couldn't really use money if I tried. Uh, going for 12k, so. Let's see. Yeah, 12k, not bad. Pretty good list up. Uh, I mean, list of like 17, 18, whatever. And the other one was uh, Lanny. I remember I've seen this guy in the past for like 22k. Obviously, uh, you know, his days may have uh, quieted down a little bit now. But, no, still good. 
But there you go, about 22k still, so probably bang her, I mean, there you go, it's 180, but probably bang the Lanier up for 20, the Sansone up for 16, and then the Yero for a uh, covering tax. So we've got a few uh, things that's selling on. The Collar I bought for 14, sell 15, didn't do very well. Hey, the Paradez we bought for, again, 15.5, sell for 17. And the ZH we bought for uh, 19.5, sell for 24, so not bad, a few sales on right there. And we've had a few DNA, sell for 2.3, who we bought once again at 1.3, who are selling on Lazy Buys, but not bad, more special card trading. So we got ourselves another deal. We got ourselves Luis Alberto here for 33k, which I uh, am quite happy with. The uh, I don't believe there are any Luis Alberto 87s until 41k, which is nice. To add to that, I believe Luis Alberto anyway is um, is about a th oh gosh, sorry, is about a uh, 33k card anyway. Yeah, you're not going to see any uh, any of these 87 Luis Albertos popping up for 33. So that's why I quite liked him because. Um, there you go, we got one there popping up for 32, but we got 33 over 100, so I'm very, very, uh, well, very, very happy about that. Anything interesting to sell on? No, just some Bellarabis for lazy buyers, beautiful. Bang down the release. But there you go, so we got us up a Luis Alberto for 33. We're going to be trying to ship him probably for the best part of 40k, uh, which means we'll take a 5k profit after tax. Not bad. Arguably a little bit of a miss by here with Higuain. Going to pick him up for 27k. Uh, don't believe that was too good of a deal, but... Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, I believe I'll break even on it, but I think, I don't know why I bought it, really. Because it was, uh, yeah, nothing too crazy, but there you go. When it picks him up 27k, I mean, even after tax, if I go sell for 29, we're still making a, a little, little bit of profit. Sales-wise, uh, bought it for 19 earlier, sell for 22, so that's not too bad. But, uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. So we've been going on a bit of a deal spree, so let me go and show you uh, what we're going to list them for. Half these already know the prices, so uh, Pulisic bought for 14 to 50, flipping for 19. Uh, Golovin bought for uh, 13, selling for 15. He didn't do too well when I checked him. Wesley bought for uh, 11.50, gonna be selling for 14.50. It's okay. Uh, Hallen bought for 14, gonna flip for 18. Uh, Sancho bought for 40, should be flipping for 46. I might double check his price quickly, just to make sure. Uh, no, he can't be that much more if he's listed there. Yeah, gonna flip him for 46k. Not amazing on that one, but another 4k. And finally, Luis Alberto, this one was really good, because this guy, we got a hunter of him earlier for 33, and the cheapest on the market was 32, well, we just got him for 27 with his shadow. So uh, I might try and be a little bit ambitious, and maybe. Uh, let's go 38. I mean, there's no reason for anyone to want him with a shadow, I guess. So we'll go 37 and take a 10k profit. So because we've got about an hour till 6pm right now, I don't really want to go and uh, be picking up more deals. I kind of just want to be working on my, uh, getting my, you know, getting more coins ready for 6pm, so... Like Yaro bought for 25, sold for 27, nothing too crazy. So yeah, we're going to go do some SBCs, allow players to sell on, and start, you know, recuperating some of our coins ready for 6pm. So a lot has gone on. Uh, we've gone and done the uh, PSG SBC, which is going to cost us 8.6 for a 35k pack. I uh, don't think I could lose money if I tried, and I'm pretty good at losing money. But uh, we've actually had an absolute uh, onslaught of, uh, of these selling ones, so let's walk you through a few of the prices. Deli Ali bought for 43, sold for 50. Sancho bought for 40, flipped for 46. Pellegrini bought for 12, sold for 16. And Wendell bought for 1.3, sold for 2.3. Not relisting that right there. So, let's go and get ourselves our uh, Shadow... Uh, not Shadow, go and get our 35k pack. Again, cost 3.6, sorry, 8.6. So it'd be quite hard to lose money on it. But don't challenge it, EA. It's uh, probably something. It's a Norwegian. A goalkeeper, it's uh, just... You're 83 rated, aren't you? That's a yikes. Uh, I think I challenged the A too much. That's about 1.5k. Can we get maybe some good 83s? Maybe like a Rashford? Rashford's not even worth money nowadays. Ooh, EA is indeed challenging me. Um, which is not fair, because I'm really pretty challenged. Ah, oh, look at that. Just what you want to see. But there you go. So there's a pretty naff pack right there. Nothing too crazy. Uh, time to crack underwear the next SBC. So we've gone and done another SBC, and it's going to cost us 7.4k for a 25k pack. Uh, all we have to do is average back around about 600 coins per card uh, for us to make our money back. I do believe we've had another sell as well, so I don't think it's too interesting. It was uh, uh, Higuain for 29, who we bought 27. So nothing too mad, but our coins back gave us more money to spend around about 6pm. So just going to see how that 25k pack is and, uh, and see how it runs. Then. So again, 25k pack costs us... 7.4k. We're going through this way too fast. It's something you, me, and just about everyone else hates to see. It's the Spanish Senate, and it's Danny Celebos. Wow, crazy. Um, the only thing interesting for me, maybe, game? Uh, Zarate, no gold. I mean, obviously, he's good for a league SBC. Uh, I mean, there'll probably would be a bunch of plebs who sell for league SBCs. Happy days. Uh, next SBC, we got another 25 minutes ago. 
So we got our last SBC just for 6pm, and that is going to be the uh, RB Lexic. We've paid 7.1k right there for the rare election pack, which is uh, nice. We're sitting on 350k. You've got loads and loads of uh, DNAs and uh, Bella Rabis going into 6pm. So we're looking, uh, we're looking quite good. Enough to rash invest, a few pre-investments, and uh, let's go and see what we're going to get then. So sadly, I don't believe this is anything. So I was quite fast through that, and it's going to be goalkeeper Spanish. It's going to be Pacheco. Hey yo, ch 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 yo, Zahavi. Ox sells on, Zinchenko sells on quite nicely. Uh, I don't think Bath sells on amazingly. Two championship players or centre backs. Actually, no, 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 no. Bath does do well, doesn't he? Uh, it's not bad. But uh, there we go. Uh, it's going to be the last uh, SBC. Now on to 6 pm Rush Investing. So I've been doing a bunch of our special card trade method, and I think a lot of people are panic selling some stuff right now because of the Ibrahimovic, uh, not the Ibrahimovic SC, sorry, the David Luiz SPC that's just come out. So what we're doing right now is we are just going and selling on a bunch of stuff we got. We got stuff in a Kuna right here, a Shadow. Uh, not too sure what he's going for. McGinn with a Hunter. I actually need to check all these players right now. But uh, yeah, the uh, the Lukaku we got for 37 for 36. Uh, the McGinn we've just gone and we've just gone and got for 17k is worth how much are you worth, buddy? Please be over 20. Uh, it's going to be about 20. Uh, and the Akunas, we've got both, two of them just now for uh, 15k. They are going for... We've got two for 15. Nice. No, probably be able to ship them for 22k a piece. So hopefully it's 7k profit on both. Yeah, it should be shipped for 22k. So yeah, not bad. Voice cry. So we've got yet again some more deals. As I say, just after 6pm where they've gone and dropped an SBC and people are panic selling cards. is amazing. So DNA's got for 1-3, three, sell for 2-3. Uh, Lukaku got for 30k, sold for 36k, uh, which is decent. Sold really, really fast as well. Uh, a few other cards have gone and bought right now, though. Uh, gone and got ourselves a Pulisic again for 15. Going to hopefully get another one selling on for 19. We've got a Wendell for 17 with a Shadow and Jorginho for 20k of a Shadow. So, without further ado, let's have a little look how they're both looking. Jorginho already knows, not amazing. But again, we're getting back into that realm of, you know, players I've never traded with before. It's a learning curve. So, Jorginho with a shadow, got him for 20k. Okay, so, you know, he would have been the cheapest on the market. 22k? Yeah. Okay, so we'll go pretty, we'll go 21k cover tax and just get our coins back off of him. Because trade it, you know, theoretically, there's lots of deals given them. They can actually buy stuff that's decent. And again, this guy going to pick up for 17, probably going to go and flip him for about 21k and make about 3k after tax. So, uh, yeah, not bad. Some deals, some good, some bad. On to, uh, yeah, more special card trade. So, once again, we've gone on an absolute rampage of deals. So, once again, there's another Pulisic. That's another 19k being listed. Uh, pretty crazy deal right here. We've got Taglafico for 12 to 15. Let's, uh, I don't know, enlighten you of how much Mr. Taglafico is worth. scooby doo doo Some of them were punts. Some of them were cards I just knew did quite well. So, Shadow, Taglafico. We got it for 12k. Survey says... Survey says there's not even any for 20. Survey says 22. Survey so says 22k, so that's a 10k profit right there. We got ourselves a Bernardo Silva with a Hunter for 37. This was a big old punt, but I thought I enjoy losing coins, so let's go and go for it. Well, probably just about for 40k, uh, break even on that card. Uh, so, living you learn. Uh, and what other cards have we got? We got Bernardo Silva, we got that one. Do we get anyone else interesting? There's at least two more cards on there. Nope, that's the objective. Skip on down. Uh, head down to uh, claim your items. We've gone and got ourselves. Uh, oh yeah, Tammy Abraham. I mean, these are pretty chill stuff. But Tammy Abraham right here, uh, going with a hunter for uh, 15k and a Barella right there with a shadow for 13k. So nothing too crazy on them. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go get that listed all up and buy new cards. Actually, I need to show you some other things I've gone and sold on. Uh, a lot of the DNAs you would have saw me buy yesterday for 1.3k. I've sold them all for 2.3k right now because they've all gone up for the uh, current SBC. So and the uh, Georgina we sold on to break even. A few more buys and a few more sells. So let's go through uh, what's sold on first. Uh, Laxer. Uh, I think I underlisted him by about 3k. But uh, not bad. Bought for 22, sold for 30. Decent fit. The DNA is again more than selling on for 1.3. Uh, and we've also gone and won ourselves two more cards. So one of those cards I can take for free is a Madison for 11k. Which uh, right here. So again, going for 11k. And he's worth with Hunter. Uh, probably worth 15k. So not... Too crazy, but I'll take the 4k nonetheless. And the second player we've gone and picked up is a Illic with a Hunter. Uh, this is an 87 in form Illic, which literally I'm pretty sure is the cheapest uh, Illic on the market. So again, 87, that's obviously the 86 one. And the 87 one is... Uh, I mean, there's still none on the market, which is what I like to see. Uh, about 40k. 
then problem is I'm not quite sure how many people are running an Illic with a Hunter, because obviously he's uh, probably not the most demanded card in the world. So I mean, there's another market up to 40, which is a bit crazy. Uh, I'll have to just ch check the price of Illic, because what it might be is maybe the uh, Dabluiz SBCs absolutely spiked uh, Illic's price. There you go, there's one on the market right there for 43. But uh, yeah, what I wanted to go and check right now is actually what is Illic's price, because he might have been... And I think he might... Oh no, one set, one set. Uh, no, I mean, there's, they're about, what, 35k without uh, a hunter just because of David Luiz spiking their price. Uh, no, about 32 actually. I lie. But yeah, we're probably going to list them up for about 40k. Uh, we're not looking too low on coins. Anything interesting inside? Nah, just consistently another DNA. But yeah, not too uh, shabby. Shabby. So once again, we've won a few deals and uh, sold a few things on. So let's go and give you guys a little update with how it's looking. Uh, Luis Alberto, was this one the shadow of the hunter? Just so I can tell you what I bought it for. Let's see what the other one's listed right now. Uh, that is the Luis Alberto with a shadow. Wow, that's an amazing deal though. So that uh, Luis Alberto we bought for 27.5k. Uh, and we've gone and flipped that for 37k. The McGinn we got for 17, so for 20. The Sansone we bought for 12, so for 18. Every single one of these DNAs was bought for 1.3k. So uh, yeah, some nice, uh, nice, nice profit right there. We've got three more deals. Uh, let's have a little look where we go right here. So we've got a uh, Promes. I think I put the Promes earlier that didn't sell on. So uh, I might go and list this one up for about... I think I'm going to list up for 16k blindly, as AK, not check prices. Uh, we're going to go check out Kai Havertz with his shadow. I think, again, this is a bit of a pun. Um, I thought it wasn't too bad. I'm pretty sure Kai Havertz, special card for um, 22k in the first place, is quite cheap. So let's have a little look. Was he without anything on him? Yeah, see, so yeah, I mean, we should put a minimum of 10. Without anything on him, he's 22 anyway. So hopefully with his shadow. Oh, no, sorry, he's 20 with uh, nothing on him. But hopefully with his shadow, uh, the most expensive chem style on the game. That will push his price up. Or not. No. Okay, so we're going to have to go and sell him for 23. And do the classic uh, the classic break, uh, break even with that. And then the other thing we got, which was a bit of a weird one, but it might work quite very well, is an AOZ Perez uh, with a shadow on him. Now, I saw this card get listed up earlier, uh, which is a bit of a weird one. But, uh, I mean, that card should get listed. Might as well. So, uh, now there are none on the market. Now, theoretically, he's not actually a madly demanded card uh, in sentiment. Although, saying that, he's got 60 defending. So, I'm probably going to go list both of them up for 20k. I say, luckily, I'm kind of in the uh, the position right here where I don't really mind spending all my coins. Um, because, uh, again, hopefully a bunch of this stuff should sell on overnight. Uh, we'll go we'll go like 24k for that. But there you go. So, a few more deals. A few, obviously, decent cards selling. Cards are bought. Not quite as good. But, uh, in the end of the day, it's, you know, it's not too shabby. The so it's been really, really dry. Like, I, I, you know, me getting deals has kind of uh, died off a little bit. But we're walking through a few, few of these cards. Going for 17, flip for 21. Uh, Bernard bought for 37, sold for 39. Uh, Chiro got for, uh, I think it was 12, sold for just under 17. Um, Bellarabi bought for 1, 4, sold for 2, 4. These all bought for 1, 3. Lovely. Get all that on the relist. But yeah, it's been, uh, been absolutely, you know, it's been, it's been a hard one getting deals. But uh, walk through a few of these plebs. Uh, this guy got for um, 20. Can we list, sorry, 14. Can list them up for 20. Odegaard got 14, gonna list him up for 20 again. Again, there's no cards with Hunt with him, so you just kind of got to make your own uh, your own rules up when it comes to these. Um, and again, Tokyo and Kembe, 12k, list him up for 18. Uh, Ericsson, really weird card, going for 68k, very, very rare card. In fact, there's none on the market up to 90k, uh, which seems a little bit excessive, in my opinion, um, because obviously he's going rates about 60, 67, so I think 90 is a bit excessive. Uh, well, I've taken a bit of advice off, uh, off the guy who uh, recommends doing it. He says, like... Basically, if there's none, if there's any, you know, if he's costing more than, I don't know, obviously way more, because it'd be cheaper for you to literally go and buy the Ericsson and apply the Hunter. So at that point, you kind of just need to, uh, you know, list at a relatively reasonable price. So what we're going to do is we are going to go and list him up for 81k. Uh, obviously, after tax, that's going to be a nice little 9k profit. So uh, yeah, not too bad. I see. So we got a few deals right here. We got ourselves from again for uh, 16. We're going to go and flip him for 22. And uh, when I picked up a Nani with a uh, Hunter, now I'm not too sure about that because I've never really seen Nani's on the market, so should be uh, should be interesting to see what he sells from the first time. So say so how a lot of people have been asking me when I've been doing this on uh, stream today, like, how do you know the prices? But uh, as you can see, with you know the with you guys, you know obviously I've got a fair de few, few deals, but also I've, you know missed out on deals. And with that, that's how you kind of learn with this method. On top of that, I've been uh, you know doing a lot of research. For example, you know if, if these players sell on. Then I'll go and add that price to my list. I must have a list of probably about 40, 50 players have either sold or seen sell on for certain prices. So, uh, so yeah, not too bad. We're going to go and get that listed up in the game. We're just going to keep crack cracking on. I kind of want to keep doing some effort until I'm kind of broke. And then I just want to go and list everyone up overnight. Because if you don't know, there's less cards that are listed up over, over the nights. So the special cards normally do pretty, pretty well. 
So I've gone and got myself two deals, two very, very light deals, you know, sort of like little petty cards, you buy them and, you know, you're lucky when they sell them. But um, we got an Espinosa for, um, Espinosa, Scooby-Doo, he's actually quite rare in form Espinosa normally. Um, we can't go and find him. Uh, please tell me she. Cool. We got an Espinosa for 13k, and again, as I said earlier, he's a... He's normally quite a rare and formula, so there's only one up there for 14k. So I'm probably going to go and try and sell him for like 17, 18k, because let alone with his shadow, he's quite rare in form. And uh, we also got a Kazula with a Hunter for 14k. Very, very easy cards to pick up these. These weren't very contested. But uh, yeah, when I picked him up 14k, sadly, we're only probably going to be able to get about 80 now of him. But uh, yeah, not bad nonetheless. Still got 100k to work with. So after a lot of special card trading, we're going to be calling it the end of episode 3 of the Road to Glory. And as I say, extremely, extremely happy how the Road to Glory is uh, going at the moment. Another day, I'd, uh, I'd back myself, obviously, earning probably about two to 300k via this method. Once again, a really, really nice method. I'm going to show you a bunch of things that I've sold on, tell you what we bought them for. Uh, Fernandez bought for 18, sold for 20. The Abraham bought for 15, sold for 20. The Promise bought for 12, sold for 16. The Iozi Perez, one was bought for 14, one was bought for 15, so that sold for 20. The Nani bought for 14, sold for 20. The Taglafico bought for 12, sold for 22. The Madison bought for 11, sold for 15. And the uh, Wesley bought for 11, sold for 14. So really, really nice right there. I've got loads and loads and loads of special cards to uh, to go and sell on over the uh, the forthcoming few days. But yeah, very, very happy how it's gone. So uh, yeah, that's going to be running the end of episode 3. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Of course, feel free to drop a like if you didn't know that malarkey. Uh, as I say, tomorrow we'll be doing a sniping. The whole plan of action will be doing loads and loads of different sniping filters and loads of variations of sniping. So... Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you guys tomorrow with a brand new episode.